Hello everyone! What a little surprise! Well, today it's... Um, I've been going live more often because it's Christmas in July. So today I'm going to share with you a shaker card. We are using everyday stamps. That's the bird, the bird and more. That's the the die. The stamp set that match with that. It's bird and branch. I'm not using the stamp set, but I'm using the die. And also, I am using uh, my favorite flower. I think right now it is tasteful texture. No, tasteful touch. So that's. <coughs> That's the stamps that I'm using. I choke on my own spit. So, I'm hoping that it is going right. I'm looking here. Yes, I see some people. Awesome, awesome, perfect, good morning. So, and I discover in the catalog these little beads here. It's going to be awesome for a um, shaker scarf. So let me flip you down and let me tell you, it's so much going on right now. I got my Christmas in July. If you go at FrenchyStamps.com, that's with an order of $25 only before tax and shipping with this hostess code that it is T7J3VXX4. With $25, you're going to get um, the Christmas uh, download that is nine card. And it's not from the holiday catalog coming up. It's all from the regular catalog. Many of the stamp set are the everyday stamp set. Some of it, it's some uh, holiday catalog. Some of the cards are from the holiday uh, stamp set from the annual catalog. But a lot of them are from everyday stamp set. And that's what make it this so much more fun or more value to your stamp set. And so, and today, that's what I'm doing. I'm using an everyday product to make a Christmas card. Plus, it's a shaker card. Also, today, I announced my paper share. I cut one for myself so I can share with you. I thought, yeah, I brought it. So, I'm going to share with you what's included in my paper share. The last paper share that I did, when people saw my UPS arriving, it was a uh, hundred and something pounds of paper. Then they wanted to participate, and it was too late. It had to be paid before I ordered them, because we cannot cash and carry that. So after I release my order, it's over. So you, if you want to partake in that, you're going to have to visit my blog right on the post there at FrenchyStamps.com. Where's my... Uh, I get something right here. Oh, I need longer arms. Or sometimes I need to be taller. This is my blog at FrenchyStamps.com. You can see my paper share, holiday paper share. And not only the holiday paper share, but with my paper share, you are getting the chart. So you get the printout. After it's day, I'm going to send you the printout of all the designer series paper. You can print the chart finish. I love that to, for reference. I'm going to explain more. Also, you're going to get um, the chart. Can I have more? I wanted to say crap here. That's, <laughs> that's how I feel. You're going to have the plain one up like this here. So you can make your own. And this only come with the paper share. I, it will not be offered otherwise. It just come with the paper share. So let me flip you down and let me tell you everything's going on. And then we're going to do a shake, 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 shaker card. So I'm bringing you down. And you're going to go up and down. And then we're going to do a little bit of setting here. So we got good lightning. Light, uh, not lightning, but light. And that looked pretty good, but let me adjust one thing here. want to make sure that... I know that's too bright. Don't panic. I'm coming along here. That's pretty good. No, seven is better. Okay, 
I think that looked pretty good at my end. I know the message are delayed, but we will wait. So my Christmas in July, like I said, it's um, I put a group of demonstrators in my team together, the one that do part of the designer team, and um, we put cards and we combine our cards together for the thing. So this year, the one that I'm sharing with you, it's not the one in the PDF. That's all just in the PDF. So this one's going to be on the YouTube here next Friday, the 24, okay? So the Christmas in July started the 15th and go to the 24 only. So if you want to partake, you have to place your order before the 25th. And so, uh, so that is one. And what I like about this, this is an everyday uh, paper. That's the Fern uh, uh, Forever Greenery. And it really looks Christmassy, even if it's every day. In my book, it's awesome. What I like about that, so you can use this layout for birthdays, anniversary, get well, whatever. It's that a lot of time we get such a tough time deciding which paper side we're going to use. Well, this year you see both sides of the paper. So that's an awesome way to use your designer series paper to show both sides. Now, this was, uh, I share, this video was on YouTube here last uh, Wednesday, the Wednesday we just passed. So that's the rustic. That's Comfort and Hope, another uh, stamp set of everyday stamp set. I added the, the pine, uh, plaid pine, plaid pine, or pine plaid, whatever. You know me, I don't know how to speak English, so. But I added that one. But this part here, uh, the swirly and this that's comfort and hope it's an everyday stamp set and also here more in tradition colors so <clears throat> that is a uh, bad one and then last Thursday on create on the fly I did this one so you see it's a lot of Christmas in July right now right so that was the mountain air and the best plaid uh, dye everyday thing that I flip it to the Christmas so that's going on at my blog so now uh, we're going to clean the desk and then we're going to be stamping so this is what a paper share looked like amazing so not only the designer series paper but I had all like the specialty paper also so you get the felt and then you get all the designer series paper. I won't go through them, but you, you're going to see some. All of it, it's six by six. And you get all of the designer series paper, plus, like I said, the specialty paper. The foil, you get in the green, the red. This is a vellum with velour on top. Beautiful. This glimmer paper, okay, I need to stop here and talk to you about the glimmer paper paper because you know I'm not a glitter person because it go in my face and go in my eyes and I just don't like it well this is like the rainbow color nothing it's like cook inside I love our glitter paper same then this you know blue it's my color it's nothing come off it's awesome then you get the velour red this is uh, the gold gold brass and champagne. It's not like our regular one. If you can see, it's got like a, a brush on it. So that's all part of the... Oops, somebody's here, I think, didn't they? The all part of the designer series paper share that it's going on now. You want to reserve ASAP. Or before um, the cutoff, it's uh, August 2nd. It's $40.50 for the share, and then include the download. And the download, like I said, you get all of uh, the, the thing, the, the chart. And you get the plain one also. And this time I put square. That was somebody asked me to if I could do something so it was easier. So that it's only available with the paper share. It will not post it otherwise. What I like about that, when you grab your designer series paper, well, you can see all your print right away, decide which one you want. 
Also, you get the coordination color at the bottom. So when you work with the designer series paper, it is awesome tool. Like this one here, it's a double one, but see how many color? That was the plaid, how many color? And it's all listed there. So if you make your own, it's listed at the bottom. You get your square. I get a video out to cut them and so on. So that you get the download with when you pay for your paper share. So that is going on. Wow. And the paper share, it's not um, qualified for any of the extra token. It's not for my uh, frequent buyer program. It's not uh, offered with any of the PDF, customer appreciation, and so on. It's completely separately because the price in that, it's include my labor. <laughs> it's really, it's no uh, price that I had for the labor. It's just... And um, it includes the tax, the shipping, and so on for to get it here. Then, yes, you pay the tax to return to you. So, really, the amount would not qualify for any of those things are the bonus needer. The bonus, it's $50. Bonus coupons right now for every $50. That's order directly you place. Okay. I feel like I talk 100 miles an hour. Let's have some fun. First thing, I get a lot of stuff prepared, so it's going to go fast. This is the new foam sheet that we get. It's just like, and I'm seeing something cricket that really bother me. Okay, a little bit straighter there. This is just like our dimensional, but it's nothing cut. So I'm going to share with you how I cut that. You're going to take your paper cutter and you're going to use uh, and you, the paper cutter. I want three and three quarter by three and three quarter. I'm going to put that here, cut, turn it around, and cut again. And then, boom, you got a strip there. Turn it around. I got a darn air in my mouth. And we're going to do it three and three quarter, turn it around, and cut. And voila. So now let me bring you um, my cutting machine here. And I'm using the largest of the circle and uh, the, the layering circle. Usually what I would do, I would do like two, like this. You know, put two, uh, let me show you what I mean. Just to do a frame for my shaker. But I needed the bigger one. I didn't have one bigger than that. So I would do like a frame like this. But because I didn't have a larger one and I needed this size, this is what we're going to do. Let me bring my machine. And this year, you're going to do the same, same thing that you would cut paper, okay? The same thing. So you got uh, your platform and depends on your machine maybe you're going to have to do some adjustment I want that right in the center because that's going to be my opening and my stopper for my shaker yep sorry almost make a mess put your clear plate there and then this at the top and then the other one at the top and roll on It's just amazing how it works. I thought it's going to smash everything. No. See? Boom. You don't even have to go both sides. It go right on. So that's how you're going to prep your frame for your shaker. That's the frame of the shaker there. Now, <clears throat> let's do wet the flower. Let me share how i done the flower. I won't color the whole thing, but I'm going to share with you how i done the flower. So I'm using a memento ink. And if you're not a subscriber to my uh, YouTube channel, right below there you get the subscribe button. I will announce a class in the mail. I know I didn't do them for a long time. But I will announce a class in the mail sometime this weekend with a retire stamp set that was a host, and I get a few, so you don't want to miss out. Okay, so the center, I use Daffodil, so if you subscribe, then you're going to get notified. The center, I use Daffodil Delight, and when I say I, I use the blend, but I don't really blend, put it that way. 
color that and then I'm using the dark uh, cherry cobbler and where the artist already get where it should be dark you know the lines I just uh, do some do where it should be dark with the dark one and blends I say uh, do bite size. What I mean by bite size, it's you do a bit of it and then you take your lightest color to blend them. Because if you do the whole thing and you come to blend, a lot of the time it don't blend lovely. It's because that it's kind of dry or so on. So now I just color these and then what I done to get more light or like different color or yeah lighter uh, color I use my uh, lifter the color lifter and I just push push I wanted the top of my petal lighter and I don't know how much you can see there, but what I got, I got this. Then after that it was all done, I used my wink of, and Ste little wink of Stella and I feather. When I, when I say feather, it's just like, see, little stroke, just where the lines are. So that's how I done this one here. I just wanted to add a little bit of like sparkle for Christmas. I think Christmas it's all about sparkle. So that's what I done. Now to cut it, I know many of you told me I was crazy when I cut almost 200 of those cards. Well I did 300 Christmas cards when I was uh, camping last week and you all uh, convinced me I needed a scan and cut. Well, I'm going to be honest with you. I do like my skin and scut when I do a bazillion. But uh, for me, for one piece or two piece, no, skin and cut, it's not coming out. That's going to be good when I do hundreds of cards maybe. But I like to and cut me because for me it's relaxing and that's something I can do when we travel or when we camp. I can sit outside by the fire or sit outside by the water and just cut. Here is the tip. I know that I say that a lot of time, but every time I do it, somebody knew it's on it and they're like, oh my gosh, what a game changer. So what I do, the right end, I'm a righty though. So lefty, I'm sorry I cannot help you. I guess it's very challenging more if you're lefty, I'm righty. So you hold your scissor in the right and the scissor is going to open and close. Your left hand going to do the motion. So what I do, I see watch my left hand and then my scissors see my left hand move and my scissors just open and close so that way I don't have all those nick and mark of the scissors you know if you go poop 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 you get all those marks so this way you don't have the mark of the scissors you just get a beautiful um, cut like you would use a machine so and I understand some of you like it to cut and some of you don't well this one we don't have a die for it so it's end cut or if you get your machine so see boom it's done see how simple that was it's simple for me put it that way okay now Let's do, so that's done. So now let me explain what i done over here. So I took the branch, the birded branch, and I use this framelit here. I'm still using framelit, the die. And I cut that more to, and this here measure, I want to say it's a five and a quarter. Yeah, five and a quarter by four. Five and a quarter by four. And I went to the right side and I cut this. Boom, it's cut, okay? 
Then I use, let me uh, find a scrappy paper here. Come here. I use my blends and I just color the, the green with the shaded spruce just around, boom, boom, boom. And then cherry cobbler on the, the little berries I call. And after I color the berries, oh, if that happened, it's because it didn't, here we go. Here we go. I just color my berries, and then after my berries was colored, again, it's Christmas, I needed to add some Wink of Stella on my berries. Then I did another thing. I used my shade of spruce, and uh, if you cannot squeeze your thing, you can always use a clear block and tap it on it, so then you get some. And this is a wink of Stella that it's almost empty. You can have, if it's empty, you think it's empty, just open this, pop this out, and add some rubbing alcohol. I use the 70%, okay? Shake it well, and then just get a little bit of your ink, and then, I'm going to squeeze a bit there, and I flicker this here. So that is a great way, and then you want to wipe that though. It's a great way to uh, recycle your uh, Wink of Stella. Great way to recycle the Wink of Stella. So now I'm just going to wipe it till I get nothing in case if I want to use another color. Make sure it's still closed. That's my hinky rag you just saw. Okay, now we got that. That go back there, that go back there. Okay, so now we get our base. I use the uh, sprig uh, punch, and I punch two of the green that you were using, it's shaded spruce. And again, what i done, I add, this one I still need to add, I use Wink of Stella, and I added my Wink of Stella. So when you add your Wink of Stella, it's going to add it darker. Let me share, maybe you can see. You see it, it's going to get your cardstock darker. That is normal, okay? Now I'm going to finish this one. So I did that with two of them. Now I use a scrap paper and from the Cardinal, the well, it's the Cardinal uh, die and the stamp set. So I use a Christmas Wish. I stamp that with Versamark and emboss it with white powder and then use the die to cut it. And again, I don't know if you can see. You see all the sparkle on this? What I done, I still have to do this part here. I just add my Wink of Stella. So now we got very lots of shimmery glitter for Christmas. Okay, this piece here measure five and three eight by four and one eight. So it's just one eight bigger than this one. What you're gonna do, let me share with you what I've done so you will understand what I've done. I took my piece, this was like this, I put this one at the top, where it should go. I lift it up. I use the biggest circle again. Put it there. See, now I don't see the circle. I remove this. You can take a piece of washi tape or post-it note, put it there so it don't move. Roll it in your machine. Now you get your frame. Now, I use the biggest uh, of the circle there, the, the, the um, I'm sorry, the scallop, the biggest one, and then I use the second of the biggest for the circle, the plain circle. So the biggest of the scallop and the second of the biggest from the circle, and I did my frame. So I just put that like this. This was in here. So the first thing, you cannot nest them together. 
They will not nest good. You're going to damage your thing, okay? Do not nest these one because you don't have enough big, see? So you're going to cut this one, the outline first, and then you're going to take this and cut this one. You cannot nest them together. If you would have not as big a, a, a smaller frame inside, then you could nest them together and cut them at the same time. But the one that I use, you cannot nest them together. You will damage your die. Because, uh, like I said, see, they touch together. So you cannot nest them together. One by one, you have to cut them, okay? Very, very important not to nest this one together. Okay, now we got all that done. We're ready to rock and roll. I found this gem that I think they're amazing gem. And that they are on page, if I, my catalog is over here. Okay, sometimes, um, sometime, th the way that it's laid out, it's hard to see sometimes in the catalog. So those little gems that we're using, they are perfect. Did I say perfect for shaker card? Look at that. Some of it are rounded and so on. That is on page 158 of the catalog, and it's the number one flower for every season gem. That's what we're using. See how fun they are? That's what we're going to be using for the shaker. Okay, now we're ready to build our card. So, um, oops, the piece of tape here. Here we go. Uh, I just stamped um, the, this is from um, Tasteful Touch. Oops, still on my fingers. This is that little greenery there. I stamp that in shade of spruce, add some wink of silver, and then I just use my marker. I didn't use the blends here, and the reason why I didn't use the blend for the little berries, it's because blends go through the paper 90% of the time, and that is normal. It's not because it's defective or so on, it's just that blends go through the cardstock. And the C marker will not, except if you would press hard and so on. So I just put that there. And so we're going to start build. Oh, inside. Okay, so we get Christmas wish. And then may, you, <clears throat> may your day be merry and bright. That's what we're going to stamp inside. So I wanted to share with you how simple it is this stamp set. Uh, hmm, I need another... Um, let me, I got a few projects on my table here, so let me, so that looks straight. So we're going to use the shade of spruce. I love the banner in, and the uh, 12 of Christmas, that it's in the regular catalog. So I'm using a Christmas set with an everyday set to do this card, et voila. I could have stamped that in red to have the red in. That's okay. If I would do it again, that would get a stamp in red. But all is good. Okay. Now, let me remove all this stuff that I got here. And, oh, first, I didn't finish cutting my window sheet because I wanted to share with you how simple it is to cut the window sheet. So, um, I need uh, at least three and three quarter. Hmm. Let's see here if that's big enough. Maybe I'm going to have to get another sheet. Okay, that's big enough. So, I'm going to cut that at four. So, if you get three and three quarter by three and three quarter, that would be perfect. That's the size I would cut. I have just grabbed a piece. I thought it was big enough. I'm going to make it work. But three and three quarter by three and three quarter would be ideal. Now we're going to take this and we're going to put this in the back. So then our beads will not come out. So let's put that there. And what I'm going to do is use my um, seal. And I'm using the seal plus. You can use Tombow too for the window sheet. It's very friendly with Tombow. And matter of fact, I will use some Tombow. Just because I want to make sure that don't pull up. 
This one, I don't want no glue. On the one on the, <clears throat> the left, when I turn, it's going to be on the right. I don't want no glue on that one. You're going to see why. So this one, no glue, it's that one there. So I'm just going to add a bit of glue on those petals here just because I don't want it that when you put it in the envelope or remove it and so on, that it pull, okay? That's the only reason I want that to stay on the, the window. Wait a minute. Here we go. I had a little booger there. Not a, a glue booger. I should be more uh, uh, <laughs> detailed there. Here we go. Okay, now let's close this. And we're going to take our window sheet and put it right here. Okay, now we got this. Now, this here, this is going to go at the top of this, and then, but this needs to go in between. See how it's going to go? So, what we're going to do, we're going to take our mat here. And we're going to glue that on our card base. So the circle is going to go on the right. Okay, let's put that right at the top. Make sure it's nothing there. If the glue just push it at that there. Okay, and it's just a tiny little border, tiny little border. I have to pay attention here. Usually I use Tombow for that, so if I'm off a bit, I can switch it. Now you're going to take your the mat that we done. And you know, we didn't need that big, but I didn't have another circle to do. Now you're going to take this and put that right at the top. Make sure you match this. Now you're going to take some beads. Oh, you know one of the strip that you cut, we're going to put it there so it's going to be balanced, okay? So let's do that. We're going to take this here and put that right here so it's just, it's going to be balanced. If not, it cave in. Yep, you sure can uh, label all of them. So then I'm just going to pour in this. You want enough that when it shake, you know. Oh, I should have just removed that after. That's okay. Here we go. I think that's about right. So you see about how many there? That looks right to me. Before we finish that, though, we need to add the finish of our card here up front. So, um, I'm going to use my little, um, this is fine tip glue that I put liquid glue in it. So, it's just the regular liquid Tombow. And I'm going to put my frame around. And the frame, I was thinking to put Wink of Stella, and I decided just to put Wink of Stella on other things. Oops, before though. I want to add one of the spring um, on the side, so I'm just going to glue this, and I'm going to take this and put that right here. Okay, one there, now bring my frame, and put that right here. Voila! It starts to look yummy. Tap, tap, tap. And make sure you put the needle in the... Did I add it in it? It didn't feel right. Yep, here we go. Et voila. Okay, now we are ready to put that at the top. So just hold it tight so the beads don't go kaplooey. 
Okay, now I have to stand up and make my magic because it's just one eighth of an inch. So I'm going to have to bring it down a bit so I can see. And you know what? That look right. Et voila! Is that fun? Okay, now usually I would take this and put the dimensional, but because we already got the dimensional and I want it to be kind of friendly to mail, one thing that I'm going to say when I mail that, I'm going to mail that with a non machinable stamp. I talked about that in one of my latest video, and people's like, I never heard of that. When you go at your post office, just ask for the non machinable uh, stamp. I think they're 70 cents or 71. So they're like 20 cents more than the regular one, but they will not go in the machine. That's the beauty of this. So now, the reason why I didn't want this one to be tucked, because look, I want this to slide under. I, we're going to put that like this. So then I'm just going to use glue dots. I think that's going to be the easiest way. So I'm going to put glue dots. Glue dots, two glue dots should do the magic. I'm going to slide that just a little bit there. Well, did I put glue dots? That one didn't have one. What the heck? Come back here. Well, that glue dot just don't want to go. Too bad. She's gone. Here we go. Et voila. Here we go. So now we get that. Now we're going to put our flower right here. Our flower is going to come right here. See how dressed up it goes. So you see, you can do different color and even use that flower and so on, or you can use the birds because you get all those dye uh, birds with the dyes. You know, you get the little birds and so on, and you even get uh, you can use that like the nests and so on. So. The sky is the limit. You can change the greeting very easy. This one here, we're going to put this, but I just want to see a little bit of this, so it's going to go like this. So let's glue that right in the back, just to see like three of them, so it don't go past the card. So we're going to put our glue dots here. And again, I will not... Um, here we go. Excuse me, I will not use dimensional because I don't want it thicker than it is. So let me bring glue dots. Glue dots. Glue dots. So even if I did a Christmas card, I'm sure you can see the possibility endless to do different. Uh, you can use any stamp set, but this frame from the birds and more, it is very very friendly to do a shaker card and okay you see that it's lifting up there want to make sure that it don't get a uh, push or whatever I'm using my glue dots with my scissors here and just go under and voila so now it's stuck there you just stuck in the don't you wish we could do some operation on us like that? Tuck a little bit here, tuck a little bit there, and it don't flop anymore? That would be awesome, don't you think? But here, is that fun? So now you get a fun shaker card. That was it for this. So let me flip you back. Here we go. Let me, sorry my armpits. Oh, I need to do this. Here we go. So that's about it for today, my friends. Uh, oops. This don't work so good here. Let me do this. Here we go, now it's more like, oh, too much, my goodness. Something happened there. Here we go. So that's about it for this uh, Saturday. I hope you enjoy it. And again, remember, if you're not a subscriber, 
click that button and subscribe. This is the class in the mail. It's going to be with Soft Spring. So let me share quick. Very simple card. If you're new to stamping, that would be a good way to start. And that's going to come with all uh, the paper and the stamp set. So I'm going to list the ink that you need and that. But And then I'm going to share to in the video if you want to add grading. So I will announce that maybe later on today or this weekend sometime. So you want to hit that button there and uh, get notified when I go live or when I post a new video. Most week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I post a video. And also, uh, lately I've been going live at lunchtime. This week I went Wednesday and I came today. It's because of our Christmas in July. And don't be surprised if I go again twice next week. So, uh, and also if you're on, uh, you're on Facebook, look for me at frenchiestamps.com. You're going to get my Facebook right there. They're on live most of Thursday night. I say most because if I'm on vacation or not available, whatever, I will not be live. But that's called Create on the Fly. I have no clue what I'm going to make and I just go and create live. This is the hostess code. With a $25 order, you're going to get the Christmas in July. T7J3DXX4. Just go visit FrenchyStamps.com. You're going to have my Christmas in July, my regular, all my information there. And also, here we go. Ta -da! Um, <laughs> and you're going to get my Christmas in July and also my uh, paper share and so on. It's all there. I hope you're having a lovely, lovely weekend, and I hope you stay safe. This thing, we're not out of the wood, my friends, so stay safe. Till next time, happy stamping. Bye-bye for now.